Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the 16 Kauri and the Veve Prophecy Cards. I am Mamiola Funke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, August 12th through Sunday, August 18th, 2019. Let's get started. The Universal Energy Reading for the Planet this week sees 9 Kauri on the mat and Obatala, Orumila, and the Veve Prophecy Cards. This reading says that Earth Mother is willing to stand alone. She is willing to um, be a single woman without, she's willing to be a leader without followers. Because we're not following Earth Mother. We are really at least where I am, people do not know how to put their litter in the garbage cans, and we are not kind to the to the earth where we are. We don't take care of ourselves on Earth Mother. So as we litter on ourselves, we litter on Earth Mother. She's unhappy with this, and she's letting, you know, she's letting the spirit world know, I'm willing to stand alone. So... If we want to be on this earth and part of this world and enjoy our human existence, enjoy letting spirit uh, live through an experienced humanity, we should really pay attention to Earth Mother because she is really the one. You know, you say we believe in this one oneness and this, she is one of those ones uh, without her we're not sure if we have a chance on any other planet in any other galaxy uh, should we be able to reach one so we need to take care of earth mother I beg you clean up after yourselves use what you have to and not just use and use and use things because you can. Ashe. The universal energy reading for the people this week sees six Kauri on the mat and Maza Tambors and the Veve Prophecy Cards. This reading says that uh, you should be careful of the contracts you sign uh, because people will advertise about you whether you did the job or did not do the job as you stated in your contract. So if you want people to speak well of you, read the contract carefully, make sure you can do what's in it, and uh, execute as best you can. Ashe. The universal energy reading for love this week sees 10 Kauri on the mat and Ling Lesu Ogun in the Bede Prophecy Cards. And this reading is not good for love this week. Uh, again, um, it says that people will cry over spilled milk and they will be uh, hold you in contempt you know um, really angry so you have to cool your head I would say wear white on your head and cool your head with some coconut milk and shea butter just calm yourself so that you are not wreaking havoc on your relationship if it's not going perfectly, understand that it's also a spiritual um, push to um, render it asunder by what you say and how you act. So if you want your relationship to stay together, remember, do not bring up the past if you can help it. I'll try to hold your heart a little still. Hold your heart a little still so that you don't um, mess up a good thing. Ashe. The universal energy reading for money this week sees seven Kauri on the mat and Obatala Azaka in the Veli Prophecy Cards. And this reading says that you have good dreams, good ideas, things that you need to work on. Um, do not put them off for tomorrow while you help somebody else today. Try to um, make sure that you focus on your own good ideas as well. 
as what's going on at work, what's going on with your business partner. Um, because you don't want to get depressed over it. And if you find yourself depressed over it, where you gave your word to do something and, and now you know you don't want to do it, bathe in Epsom salt so that you can let dispel that feeling of depression so that you can see clearer and figure out how you're going to address your newfound understanding. Ashe. The universal energy reading over health and well-being sees Ten Kauri on the mat and Yamaja Orumila in the Beve Prophecy cards. This reading is about not crying over spilled milk, okay, so that you didn't eat right for the last 30 years or 40 years. Um, don't cry about it. Just change your diet. I suggest getting rid of corn, wheat, and white potatoes, but that's just my thing. Um, but whatever you need to do to be optimum in your body. Another thing I read in a magazine, I don't know which one, um, that you need to move in order to build bone density so that if you're a couch potato you have to get up and get out. Um, Omila suggested I get this little dog and I, I, I didn't want to at the time. I was not ready for a dog. I'm still not ready but I have the dog and I, he makes me get up and go out. I walk him. He walks with me my mile and a half. I do every other day and he makes me get up several times during the day to walk him. So that gets me up and out and walking and moving. And I feel much better. I do. I feel good. So I would suggest to anyone, please move. And you can you can do it. Um, you can feel better in your body. If you know what a body is and what it's used for. Um, we are the walking around the world. We walk around the world. We are the walkabouts. Human beings are the walkabout the planet entity. And we're not like trees. We can't just stand still. You know, we have to move. You know, we're not like um, hibernating bears. We can't just hibernate. And when they're awake, they're running all around looking for food you know, uh, having fun with their babies and they're doing things. So we have to move and we have to eat right. We have to drink enough liquid, stay hydrated. And this is what I see for health and well-being this week. It's about teaching, you know, so that's why I'm just sharing what I know. I share. The universal energy reading for spiritual development this week sees Ten Kauri on the mat and Eshu Ohumila in the very prophecy cards. Um, so whatever lost time we've time we've lost in our lives and we we didn't get initiated until this age, where some people were initiated out the womb. Um, whenever you start, don't cry over the spilt milk that was lost. Um, just pick up and do what you can now. Classify your, you know, put your, what you need to learn in order and attack it as you can. Um, set yourself a, a, a weekly schedule for prayers and meditations and exercise um, and Make progress in your spiritual development. Grow your character, your Iwa Pele, and make yourself more confident, more stable, more strong. Ashe. This has been Mami Olufunke's Universal Energy Reading. I thank you for joining me this day. I thank you for tuning in this week. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you are new to this information and you like it, please subscribe, like the information, and know when the next video is available. 
Have a great week, everyone. Oh, yeah.